Van Gogh's chart has been requested a ton lately, and if you know anything about him, his story, and his work, I promise you this chart makes perfect sense. By the way, go watch the video that this comment came from. It was magnificently done. So right away, we see a chart with the majority of the planets above the horizon line, someone who is destined to leave their mark on the world. But to say that this is a hard birth chart would be an absolute understatement. Van Gogh had his ascendant in Cancer and his midheaven in Pisces. But what's really significant here is that his Pisces midheaven is ruled by two planets, Neptune and Jupiter. His birth chart is ruled by the moon. However, both of the rulers at these prominent angles are conjuncting each other on his south node, immediately indicating an emotional state that probably felt completely overwhelming, blown out of proportion, Jupiter's at home here in Sagittarius. No boundaries. Now a midheaven in Pisces with this Pisces presence is definitely someone who is going to make art. Pisces rules imagery, media, and dreams. It also governs confusion, delusion, and misperception. Van Gogh's modern chart ruler Neptune conjuncting the midheaven in domicile, really strong indicator of creative talent. Mars-Venus conjunction in and of itself is considered a very creative aspect, but being in the sign of Pisces, pretty straight shot. However, his midheaven, Venus, and Mars are what we call bending the nodes, squaring the north and south node. Basically, these were key themes and lessons that he was going to need to learn. Making art that was magnificent was definitely a part of his destiny, but with that also came the pain of Pisces. As the last sign of the zodiac, Pisces is focused on unity, oneness, and unconditional love. However, it's also related with complete loneliness and isolation, often associated with this feeling of seeing the beauty and perfection in the world around you, looking into heaven, but not being a part of it. This Pisces presence is someone who sees the beauty in every aspect of life, but doesn't see it in themselves and feels left out. Mercury conjunct Pluto is also saying that he was very consciously aware of his own shadows. He likely did feel very trapped by this mental experience. All of this being tied into the nodes, the destiny here is really strong, but so is the experience of suffering and confusion. Also a feeling of being completely out of control. Pisces is already the sign of chaos and losing control. And we see his North Node in Gemini taking him deeper into isolation, loneliness, and mental health issues. North Node in the 12th house in and of itself doesn't indicate mental health issues later in life, however. Being ruled by Mercury conjuncting Pluto and opposing his Moon and Jupiter and squaring everything up here, it's very lonely. I hope his soul can rest in a field of sunflowers knowing how much his work has impacted humanity.